first <laughs> I thanks to organizers and chair and you. <laughs> uh, today uh, I'm talking about uh, the on minimal surfaces bounded by a piecewise geodesic Jordan curve with five geodesic, uh, five, five vertices. First, I introduce the problem. Uh, my problem is like this. Uh, this problem is suggested by Professor Che Gyeongche. Mm -hmm. He asked the, mm, this. Uh, let gamma pi be a piecewise geodesic. Jordan curve with five vertices. First, he asked in, in Rn, first he asked uh, the total curvature of, what is the upper bound of total curvature? Uh, is this bounded by 4 pi? And second, then, uh, if, if this hold then by the result of a column height and PNOs, uh, any minimal surface sigma let's say boundary, boundary of sigma is gamma pi, then it is embedded. Unless it is cone. Uh, and second, if, if first is not true, then he has to, it's gamma pi. And on that. And if, if one of these holds, then he, he has to, uh, this problem is generali generalized in, uh, uh, I mean, it's in R3. Uh, and in SN and HN. We can generalize this result to SN and HN. This is the problem. Uh, To explain this, uh, before people before, uh, stating theorem, uh, I let me introduce the his, two historical results. Uh, first is the Ecolom and White and Bienal result. In 2002, they proved that any minimal surface sigma bounded by a Jordan curve, gamma, such that the total curvature of gamma is less than or equal to the popeye, then is embedded. Unless it is a cone. And one year later, uh, and Goliver generalized, generalized this region to uh, other space form. Uh, they proved, um, in particular, uh, they proved this, uh, the total curvature of gamma is pi my plus infimum of Then,
they proved this result. Uh, particularly, they, they proved the total curvature of gamma is bounded by this. Then any minimal surface sigma uh, whose boundary is given gamma is embedded, unless it is a cone. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the first, first known result about the uh, embeddedness of minimal surface in SN and HN. Uh, if, if given the boundary condition is restricted by the total curvature condition. Uh, actually, the total curvature of uh, Jordan curve in SN or HN is uh, hard, hard to deal with. So, so there is a rare, rare known results. Uh, and <coughs> in this talk, I, uh, I give the affirmative answer to this problem. So, first, I prove, uh, first, I, I introduce my result. Mm. Result is like this. Uh, first, Gamma pi is uh, piecewise Jordan curve uh, with five vertices. Then uh, in MN, uh, this MN is space form. Uh, further uh, in SN case, uh, we we assume. Gamma pi lie in the geodesic pole of radius r. This r is strictly less than pi over four. This pr means the geodesic pole. Then any minimal surface sigma bounded by gamma pi is embedded. And second, uh, from the first result, uh, we can get this, this result. If gamma pi is uh, in M3, and the same assumption for the S3 case, then gamma pi is unnatted. Uh, from the second result, we, we can get this corollary. Uh, <coughs> uh, there is no star-shaped piecewise geodesic Jordan curve with five vertices. Uh, it is like this. This Jordan curve consists of five, five geodesic. Five geodesic. One, two, three, four, five. And but from this second result, uh, this curve actually does not e exist. Uh, and uh, from this, uh, we can get this, this five, this number five is critical. Uh, it means uh, we can we can we can find uh, not hit not hit piece piece Jordan curve consists of six geodesic segments uh, like this. It is not difficult. Uh, because we, we have uh, planar st star shaped Jordan curve, then we, uh, we, can, we can move up a little bit, and, and then we get this, this curve. Mm. And after that, we can link these two points by a geodesic. 
So this this number five is critical. Mm -hmm. Now I give the proof of this problem. Mm. Uh, before proving, I I suggest some notations. Uh, first, if if we let gamma k be a piecewise geodesic Jordan curve, ah, geodesic closed curve. Ah. This one is geodesic curve with k vertices. Uh -huh. We not we want to we k minus one. Then we cannot get k by this series. We not one to we k k minus one. And for the case of uh, Jordan curve. With k vertices, uh, we not to v k minus one and v k is the same to the v v not then gamma k is to v not v one. This is my notation. And to prove, uh, I first I I state one lemma and one lemma and two propositions. It's very simple. Uh, the first lemma is uh, like this. Let delta be a geodesic triangle. In uh, SM minus 1, we vertices v not v1, v2. And v3 is the same to v0. Uh, here, the geodesic triangle means uh, it is the piecewise geodesic uh, Jordan curve with three vertices, and uh, particularly every edge has the uh, every edge is the length minimizing geodesic. Uh, then. Uh, the length of delta is less than or equal to the 2 pi. It means uh, we have three point here. Then uh, we can connect this three point by uh, length minimizing geodesic like this. This is delta. Then, in any case, this length of this delta is cannot exceed two pi. Uh, first, we can note that uh, it's been not one be two. From the length minimizing condition, uh, we have two cases. Uh, Any two point of VI is a <coughs> antipodal. Uh, this first case is trivial because uh, we have antipodal points, then any any others, then we can link by this three point by a uh, part of geodesics and the rest of the length is pi. So this first case is easy. And the second case, we can assume uh, any two points, points, any two points of VIs are not antipodal. Uh, 
then, then from the length minimizing condition, uh, we can assume, uh, we can know, know that these VIs uh, lie in upper hemisphere. And then we can um, divide two two cases. Uh, <coughs> uh, first is the VI lies in the open upper hemisphere, and second is VI is in equator and say minus two. Uh, then from the first case, uh, <coughs> we have. We have this picture. This is m, this is m minus one, and this is m minus two, and three point here. Then <coughs> we have the center in R n. Then we can make the tetrahedron like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, we can link by this one. Then the length of length of v uh, i to v i plus one is the same as the angle between two line segment, OBI and OBI plus one. And then uh, we, can, we can develop this tetrahedron to the plane. Then here O, V0, V1, V2, V0. But the length of Length of delta is the same as the angle around O. But to, to make this tetrahedron, uh, this, this, this angle around the origin cannot exceed 2 pi. So uh, we, can, we can prove this. Way. And the second case, all VIs are in the equator SN minus 2. Uh, and then we can we can proceed this procedure again. Since the length minimizing property, this SA minus 2 is this divided by two cases. All VI is lie in the open upper hemisphere of SA minus 2, and all VI is lie in SA minus 3. And then by induction, uh, the only last case is all VI lies in S1. This case is already done because any three point in S1 has the length, uh, uh, the three point uh, lie in the S1, then the geodesic triangle has length less than or equal to 2 pi. And equal, equality holds. Uh, the geodesic triangle delta is the same to this total geodesic. From this lemma, we can prove first proportion. Uh, proportion is like this. Uh, if we have uh, P0 and P2 in SM minus 1, then let delta uh, lambda be a uh, piecewise geodesic curve. It is the same to the P0, P1, P2. The sequence P0, P1, P2. Uh, it, this, this is made by adding one point P1. Then, ah, and, and if 
length of P naught P two is theta, then the length of lambda is less than or equal to two pi minus theta. Uh, situation, situation is like this. Uh, we have two point here, uh, P naught and P two, and this length is theta. Then, then uh, we choose any one point, one other point P1, and then we can make the lambda like this. Then the length of this P0, P1, P2 is always less than or equal to 2 pi minus theta. Uh, and this is uh, the direct con consequence of uh, previous lemma because we have P naught, P1, P2, P naught is geodesic triangle. So the length of P naught, P1, P2, P naught is uh, less than or equal to 2 pi, and the length of P naught, P2 is theta. So uh, the length of lambda is bounded by this. Uh, and equality holds, uh, then P naught, P1, P2 lie in the same geodesic disk. Uh, I mean, uh, same disk. Mm, I mean, uh, there are some ambiguous, ambiguous, uh, like <laughs> if, if, if two of these points are antipodal, then uh, there are some bad cases can be exist like this. So uh, actually I want to say uh, this geodesic triangle lie in the geodesic, but uh, it's not true. So, uh, and <coughs> the second proposition is similar to the first one. Uh, if we have two points in SM minus one, P naught and P3, uh, and the length of P naught P3 is theta. Uh, and if we let lambda be a P3 geodesic curve, uh, adding two points, P1 and P2. Then we have the length estimate. Uh, length of lambda is bounded by 2 pi plus theta. Uh, uh, situation is similar to the first one. If we have two point here, P0, P3, and this length is theta, then we have any two point, then P0, P1, P2, P3. Then uh, this length is bounded by two pi plus theta. Uh, proof is uh, difficult. Uh, first, <sighs> we let alpha be a length of p to p three. This is alpha and beta be a length of p naught p two p naught p two here. Uh, this is beta. Then we have this inequality. Uh, length of lambda is p naught p one p two. Length of this this geodesic curve. Uh, this piecewise geodesic curve plus length of P to P3. But uh, from the assumption length of P to P3 is alpha, and from the first proposition, we have, we have P naught P2 uh, of the length beta, and if we're adding one point, then the length is bounded by 2 pi minus theta. 
So 2 pi minus theta plus alpha. But uh, if you consider this triangle, P0, P2, P3, then uh, this is geodesic triangle. So we have we already have triangle inequality. So this is, oh, uh, I'm sorry. This is theta. Yes. So this is less than or equal to 2 pi plus theta. So we have this estimate. And <coughs> uh, <coughs> the equality case is uh, is some equality hold like this. P0, uh, P1, P2, P3. Yes. Uh, equality hold then P0, P3, P1, P2. Oh, I'm sorry. P0 is the S1 as a set, and the length of P2, P0, P3 is less than pi. Uh, uh, or some, some special cases. Uh, I mean, some special cases is like this. In particularly, we have P0, P1, P2, P3. Uh, it means if, if, if theta is pi, then we have the equality case like this. Uh, theta is pi. Then P0 is the same as P2, and P1 is the same as P3. The, this is the only possible case. But Actually, uh, I don't care th this this case. So uh, then, <coughs> now we can prove in Euclidean case uh, theorem is. Gamma pi being Rn, then the total coverage of gamma pi is strictly less than, uh, less than or equal to four pi. Uh, first, uh, we can consider the tangent indicatrix of gamma pi. Uh, tangent indicatrix means the spherical image of uh, unit tangent vector of Jordan curves. Uh, if we have gamma pi like this, Then uh, uh, we have P1. P1 means the unit tangent vector parallel to the V0 P1. Uh, then uh, this vector is the same as this vector. This is P1. And V2 is here, then P2. P2 can be considered uh, in a similar way, then we have P2 and T3, T4, and so on. Uh, then we, uh, for the case of uh, piecewise curve, piecewise Jordan curve, uh, piecewise cross curve, uh, we, have, we have tangent indicators like this. This two point is link, linked by the length minimizing geodesic in SN SM minus 1. This is the new new curve. Then uh, we already know the the total coverage of gamma is the same as the length of tangent indicatrix. We use this fact. Uh, first. Uh, <coughs> We have we have five points in R, R, Rn, uh, and we have five five vectors in Rn. So uh, so we have.
have we have uh, five vertices in S n minus one, uh, and uh, uh, we can make. This wise to this uh, length minimizing cross curve with five vertices in S n minus one uh, as follows. Uh, If, if we have two points, given two points, P0 and P2 in SN minus 1, then we add the three points P1, P3, P4. And then cross curve can P0, P2. Then any three point we can add. So we have P1, P2, P3, P4, and P0. Uh, for every every case, we can make the piecewise geodesic. Uh, this length minimizing condition is important. Uh, we can make uh, like this. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Then, we can estimate the total coverture of gamma pi, uh, total coverture of gamma pi is the same, same as the length of tangent indicatrix of gamma pi, but this tangent indicatrix of gamma pi is the this y geodesic and Jordan curve and with five vertices and and uh, in every case this this tangent indicatrix has the length minimizing uh, edges so because uh, we can compute the This length is the same as the exterior angle of this curve. So exterior angle is always uh, less than or equal to pi. So uh, this this edge has length less than or equal to pi. But uh, we have the condition uh, for gamma pi. Uh, like this, gamma pi is Jordan curve. So uh, this gamma pi does not have the cuspidal point. It means this angle theta is always strictly less than pi. So this is this this implies every edge of tangent indicatrix is length minimizing. <coughs> then uh, from this this fact, uh, we have we can compute this length. Uh, so the length is length of p naught p one p two plus length of p naught p four p three p two. But uh, this is this this first term is bounded by two pi minus theta, and this second term bounded by two pi plus theta. So this is bounded by four pi. And uh, if the equality holds, then uh, this p naught p one p two lie in the same disk and this people uh, peanut people p3 p2 lie in the same same disk actually uh, it can happen uh, in this situation peanut p1 p2 and peanut uh, oh, <laughs> i'm sorry 
three. Okay, now. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Zero, four. Zero, three. So, this schema is uh, actually tangent in Decartrix is P naught one two three four naught. So this curve is one. Uh, <coughs> why in this geodesic twice? Like this. But the, if tangent in Decartrix why in the same circle twice, then gamma pi is plane curve with the rotational index two. It means the gamma pi is not embedded. It's contradiction. So this equality does not work. Uh, this this theorem implies the affirmative answer to the first problem uh, in Euclidean case uh, because. Uh, we, we already have the Eccolum and white and Biennial's result, so uh, we, we can conclude uh, gamma pi in Rn, then any minimal surface sigma whose boundary is gamma pi is always embedded. And from this result, We have gamma pi is unlucky in R three, and uh, star shape piecewise geodesic Jordan curve uh, in R three does not exist. Uh, for the case of uh, other space form, uh, we need some. Density estimate. Uh, two cases is very similar, so I, I just explained, I, I just introduced the uh, method uh, to. Speaker, uh, speak and demand and sphere. Mm. <coughs> if gamma five uh, is S N, and <coughs> we further assume gamma five uh, in the zero dash four of radius r less than. Pi over four. Uh, then any minimal surface sigma bounded by this gamma pi is embedded. It's the same. Uh, put this like this. Uh, first, we can estimate the. Uh, we can first first let p be a point in a sigma uh, uh, up to the boundary, then we can estimate the density density of sigma p uh, bounded by the density of cone. Uh, this result is uh, already obtained uh, by Eccolum height Venus and Chen Gulliver. First three person proved in Euclidean case and Chang Golibo generalized this to uh, other space forms. Uh, but uh, and then uh, from simple uh, observation we can uh, this is the same. The cone intersect. Uh, this S zero is the geodesic sphere. Uh, 
cone intersect uh, the length of cone intersection of the geodesic sphere is the same to the density times uh, 2 pi sine nu. This sine nu is the length of the geodesic, geodesic circle. Uh, then uh, this is obtained by this integration. And then we, we, we can change this integration uh, using the stereo wave projection. So we have uh, the picture is like this. Uh, here, Sn, Lp. And the stereo projection with respect to the P then P maps to the zero, then we have uh, this is gamma five then uh, we have we have this is pi of gamma five then <coughs> We can take small ball uh, of distant low star. Low star is the uh, same as one half cotangent row. This is comes this comes from the stereo group projection. Uh, then then we can take this cone and cone intersect this geodesic sphere uh, like this. This is the curve uh, G gamma 5 intersection as was uh, But this is just the same as the uh, <coughs> length of uh, length of some curves. Uh, this is the same length of uh, over 2 pi. Because uh, this Rosta and the R is the same, so uh, we have uh, this is the and uh, this curve comes from the cone, so cone is cone has homothetic, so uh, we have mm -hmm. this is the uh, same as the length of projection of this curve to the uni unit sphere. So this is the same this. Now, uh, we, uh, what we have to do is the estimate of this length for each point of P in sigma. Uh, so the first case, if, if P, P is the interior point of sigma, then the, the curve this curve uh, is simply not uh, Noted, but uh, we can note, note uh, this. Uh, this curve is piecewise geodesic Jordan curve with five vertices in S n minus one. This n minus one, S n minus one is this here. Then, from the previous, uh, the proof of this theorem, uh, I did not mention, but uh, any uh, any piecewise geodesic length minimizing closed curve 
uh, with five vertices in S n minus one has the has the upper bound of length. This curve has length less than four pi or equal to four pi. So uh, the length of this curve. is bounded by Popeye. Now, we will prove this equality does not hold. Uh, suppose equality holds, if equality holds, uh, then uh, first we can note that uh, every vertice is This curve lie in the same disk. Uh, then it implies uh, this this curve is made by uh, made from the cone over gamma pi. So this means every vertex is of gamma pi lie in the same disk. And then uh, from the condition. Uh, this condition implies uh, every length, uh, every edge of gamma pi has minimizing length. Uh, actually, this condition uh, is uh, we need this this condition because uh, this this inequality for every p. Uh, uh, since this inequality co comes from the uh, estimation of green functions, so uh, the green functions in SN behaves well uh, if the distance is less than or equal to pi over 2. So, uh, but this condition uh, says uh, every edges of gamma pi is length minimizing. So, uh, in a disk, uh, length minimizing geodesic also, uh, if, if two point in, a, if we have two point in, in a disk, then the length minimizing geodesic connecting these two point is also lie in the same disk. So, uh, gamma pi contained in the D, and this means the this cone line D, but this is contradiction. Uh, actually, this means the gamma pi is wind gamma pi is plana, uh, and this gamma pi has Rotation index two for, with respect to some point. <coughs> so this is contradiction, and uh, this equality doesn't hold. And so uh, we have the density upper bound of density is four pi over two pi is two, and so uh, any interior point of sigma is embedded. And in a similar way, uh, we have the estimation to the uh, Two other cases. Um, two other cases means the second one is P lie in boundary of sigma. It's gamma minus vertices, and then we have. In a similar way, uh, we have this is strictly less than 3 over 2, and less p is in a 1 of the point of vertices, then uh, density is 2 pi 2 over 3 minus 2 pi over theta. So from the Known result, uh, we have uh, sigma is 
in b a d i In the case of hy hyperbolic space, uh, it is more simple because uh, this condition doesn't need, does not need. Uh, and <coughs> from this, this result, we have the same corollary in the case of uh, Euclidean case. So gamma pi with, with, this, with this condition uh, is unnatted. And uh, unnatted in S3 and H3. So gamma pi in Rn, Hn, Sn, then sigma minimal. And second, we, we can state R3, H3, S3, gamma 5, not. And so, uh, <coughs> first I mentioned uh, star shaped piecewise geodesic. Jordan curve with five vertices uh, cannot exist in uh, three-dimensional space form. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, <laughs> I want to uh, introduce some other result, but I just just some remark. Uh, <coughs> We have, we can have, uh, if gamma, gamma 2k, k is positive integer, and gamma 2k, uh, k is over 2. Gamma 2k is the piecewise geodesic Jordan curve with 2k, 2k vertices. <coughs> then we already know uh, the upper bound of total curvature it, it's trivial uh, because this is bounded by 2k pi uh, this is trivial because uh, the we have this then uh, k equal 2 then u1, v2 v3, v4 the total curvature of this piecewise geodesic Jordan curve is computed by the uh, rotation angle here. The sum of this rotation angle is the same as the total curvature of this Jordan curve, but uh, any this exterior rotation angle is bounded by pi, so uh, it has 2k points, so uh, the upper bound of total curvature is 2k pi. But <coughs> this equality does not hold if, if gamma 2k is Jordan curve. Uh, it, it, it also trivial, uh, 2k pi, uh, if gamma 2k Jordan curve. Uh, because uh, <coughs> the condition the Jordan condition means uh, gamma 2k does not have cuspidal point. So uh, each of this angle is strictly less than pi. So the upper bound of total curvature is 2k pi. Uh, in this talk, I, I proved the uh, Gamma pi has total curvature is bounded by four pi. Uh, I, I mean, okay. Euclidean case. But uh, then uh, it's natural to ask, ask uh, what happened in gamma two k plus one. So two k two k minus one. So we can ask the upper bound of gamma two k minus one. 
in the analog, well, from the analogous of this, this result, uh, we can ask this is strictly less than 2k pi. Uh, and I, I answer this, this, this question is, uh, the answer of this question is yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we we can have uh, it, it's similar way to we have two point here P naught and P two then we add one point P one and uh, then one two three so uh, one uh, ah, two k plus one two k plus one yeah. Uh, then uh, any other 2k minus two points here, then using induction, then we have this result yes. in, in a similar way. So uh, the answer of this problem is yes. Uh, I think I'll stop here. Thank you. <laughs>